So I've done it, finally. After a while, I can create the Persian Empire. And hello, welcome to Europe Universalis 4, I might add. Now, I'll just quickly dial down the volume there for a second. Right, now there we go. Now, as you know, you've probably already seen my creating the Persian Empire on Crusader Kings 2. Now, um, of course, I have obviously used the same ga save game converter, CK2 to EU4, and I have thus brought my Persian Empire into EU4. But a slight thing I've just figured is that we are not an empire, but a feudal monarchy. Not an empire, even though we were an empire in the last game. But it doesn't make a difference, we're now a king, still in charge, and it's not. it wasn't really about bringing the title of empire over, it was about bringing the empire's land with us. Because as you know, no one on this map is probably going to mess with us now. Because look at it, it's that giant wedge. I don't even think these hordes will mess with us. The only people I think could mess with us are Scandinavia and France. There are obviously those two empires were also formed. It was the Empire of France and the Empire of Scandinavia, but both of those are now kings as well. And they are Norse. They obviously had time to reform. Yeah, there we go. So therefore, we are obviously going to have to have a bit of time fighting well, we have this massive religious thing because as you can see when I took over all this Muslim area I have all these Shiite and Sunni ruler, um, provinces still left to convert and also I did some expanding up here so as well as the Islam problem I'm going to also have one from uh, Orthodox as well not as much, but there was, what was it, Mephiis down here, but of course obviously they weren't transferred into the next game, so now they've been set as Orthodox. So I am going to have to fight an Orthodox Abyssina. Yeah, they weren't, not, not supposed to be Orthodox. Maybe Paradox, I don't think Paradox will continue that over though, because there were certain things they weren't going to continue over, like ten unreformed Tengri has just become Animimist and Shyam, Shamanist. But anyway, without further ado, I will continue, I will continue? I will, yeah, that's it, that's the right word, I will continue our conquest over the known world and spread the light of Zoroastrianism. Right, feudal monarchy, I'm going to appoint a national tax modifier. We've got stability's a bit uppity at the moment. Diplomatic reputation and morale. Do I do want to form a Persian nation because the government type changes to theocracy? Don't want that. So, Nikia, where's Nikia? Is that it? No. I'm supposed to remove. I'm going to take remove Nikia from the map. Ismit, Ismit. Right, where is it? Find province is bit. Ah, Nakia. That's good, I already have an army over there. Because as you know, being such a gloriously big nation, my manpower is 58,000 men. I haven't cheated or anything. That's just it the massive amount of manpower I can get from being in um, a, a, a feudal empire I'll put it now feudal empire I know that's completely made up earth rampart can I build that anywhere or is it built it's built I think it's built except for the yeah right I can recruit a general which is great because I'm going to need a general to take out this but am I I'm not the, I wouldn't say I'm the worst at this game. I'm not the best also to add though, so um Oh 
send a missionary. You only get one missionary. Well, I don't think you get one missionary, but you get f that's as much as I've got now. You know, based on current modifiers and land technology and stuff. That's I'm only allowed one because you know in the old games you were allowed five. So I don't know whether you can increase your limit. Well, obviously, we'll obviously figure that out as we go. Yeah, need to research technology, national ideas. For I will probably go with uh, where is it? It's not expansion, is it? No, it's this one. Quest of the New World. I don't exactly know where I'll be going. Oh, down here probably into Africa. Don't think I'll. Like, I would have to conquer a lot in order to get the opportunity to take America. Could you imagine that? Just all of us all over the entire world that would be interesting that would be a very interesting game to play actually to be fair I'm, I remember when I was playing um, I was playing it as um, in Crusader Kings 2 oh god oh we, you will now rely on your explanation of course I'm not surprised it suddenly dropped me, my ruler instantly died as I played because uh, my kick, my king in Crusader Kings 2 was 80 something so um, and the fact that this is 200 years from the save game I say that eight, going from 89 to 289 but then still living a bit is a bit of a feat, I would admit, so I was actually expecting him to die, just didn't know it would be that quickly. Right, I'm going to recruit a general. Oh, it's alright. He's not, he's not great. Right, he's pretty terrible, but could have been worse. Could have been. I won't declare war yet, I'm going to put the pretenders down. Why not? Stability. We've lost effects of trading spices. And Stability and expansion. How do I boost? I need administrative power. Which I almost have. And then I'm not accepting the demands. No way. By accepting whatever demands they're going to come up with. Time to form up here. Form my men up here. So before we can deal with our expansion problem. Of course you can name armies here, can't you? We've suffered casualties. Uh in the middle of the desert, yeah. Does it to people. A revolt, seriously. Well, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep units stationed around my map because it's too big. It's just not worth having you know some units, all my units up here when well, I'm gonna have rebellions down here all the time so I'm just gonna go keep yeah I'm just gonna go keep some men stationed down here and I'm gonna keep these guys stationed down here I'm gonna keep these guys stationed yeah one's too big um this one's a big one split creating unit Bring some cavalry with it because you need some cavalry just to reinforce the army there. Okay. Well, let's stop attrition. Uh, maybe it's just a province. Maybe if I. My capital is here. Yep, it's exactly where it was last time. So there we go. So much of a problem there. You don't get a, there's no such thing as a capital building here. Thought maybe there'd be a building known as a capital building. But there isn't. I just thought maybe that'd be a nice feature, but you know, give it a province bonus for being the capital. I don't think I'm gonna go to war yet until I can boost my stability, which I can, probably. Boost. Yeah, I've just used my Ministry of Power. Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. We get I think I have a, I have a conquest cast spell not um what is it? Not the core cast spell. CB, I'll call them CPs. Yeah, I have claims on promises I do not own. Oh, so I do have a claim. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out whether that means I have a core claim or 
something else because if I don't have a core claim it's going to be quite yeah I'm going to have to do with uh, overextension because I won't have a core on it I don't, I don't have a core on it though, so it's not going to make too much difference to me now so uh, for God's sake I'm gonna do have to do some serious converting. Maybe that's what I'll do just for one episode. Do some massive converting. Anyway, we'll wait. We'll wait until this. Uh, I don't accept. I will wait until I've sieged this before I finish the episode. Uh, let's try and negotiate. I'm gonna negotiate because I do not need any more rebels than I possibly can. See, although it may seem this is gonna, this probably isn't gonna be easy or easy as I thought because I'm gonna have to. deal with a massive rebellion problem. So let's look at the map from Albania. Yeah, let me in. Yeah, I am. I'm going to have probably massive problems dealing with uh, rebellions. We have to do something. I don't want to... Where? Oh my goody gosh. We don't have to go to Basra because Basra's by the coast. Alright, we've won. For annexation. Accepted the Genesis Peace Office, uh, removed from the map. And remove Charison from the map. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, thanks for watching this small episode. We will deal with our pesky rebellion problems and Charizard in the next episode. Thank you for watching the first instalment. I'll, I sincerely look forward to seeing you watching the next one. Thank you, goodbye.